So a neighbor in my town had a giant sugar maple taken down on their property and they gave me a call and if I could uh, clean it up, I could have the firewood. And I surely agreed to this. Uh, rock maple is great firewood, but my goodness, it was a vast amount of work. It was about eight trailer loads and I did a quarter and eighth, a lot of it with a, just a mall on site just to get it up to my house. But here it is and it's uh, probably two or three quart of wood and now I just have to split it and stack it. And I, uh, I bush hogged one of the fields on the property this week, and boy, I don't know, it's just a silly thing. I, I love how a field like this looks uh, at this time of year with everything just so lush and it just bounces back so quick, the new growth. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fun thing mowing. And what I mowed with is this. It's a 1947 Ford 2N, uh, 23 horsepower tractor. And this is, where the, you know, this was my dad's tractor, where uh, he was the second owner of this thing, and I think he got it in 78 or something, and it, it just runs like a tub. I've done some work on it the last few years, and um, it, it's a primitive motor, but it works just fine, and oh, I love the sound of that. Man, listen to that. And this is another little project that I've been plugging away at. I'm just kind of starting, and I'm filming the whole thing, but here's a little preview. It's a 1974 uh, Boltaco Alpina 350 two-stroke trials bike, and I'm going to be doing kind of a rough restoration, just kind of cleaning it up, getting it running, and I'll be taking you along for that ride too. So stay tuned. summer I was, uh, I was driving this back from a catering game in Vermont and I was careening down the interstate 89 in, uh, in Vermont and the overdrive kind of faltered and then kicked off and I, uh, I smelled some kind of burning, burning electrical. I mean you do this kind of stuff long enough and you, you can tell what burning electrical smells like. It's not a good smell. And I fiddled with the fuse box, I wasn't sure what to do and uh, Anyway, needless to say, uh, I wasn't able to fix it then on the side of the road, and uh, I, said I, I didn't have time to get to it to, over the last year. I've been busy with the house, uh, so it drove fine, it ran fine, the, the, you know, the, the mechanical restoration that I did a couple years ago was working great. Check that video out here, kind of a rudimentary one. But I needed some time to just dive in to the electrical uh, issue that was at hand with the uh, servo-driven overdrive. And it just, it was something I knew I was going to have a little bit of a hard time with. Anyway, I didn't film any of this, so I'm telling you about it here. Uh, I was able to, uh, what I had to do is I had to pull the carpet out, and there's a panel on top of the transmission, and uh, the overdrive actuating switch is on top of that transmission. Here we go again, ready? Oh, isn't that sweet? And uh, anyway, I had to get at that switch by uh, getting all this out, and I noticed uh, instantly that one of the wires was almost completely off and barely touching. So I knew there's the problem. It was creating a short, which was causing a, a short, and to blow out the fuse, and something to do with the relay as well. So I cleaned up all the terminals, connected them, you know, really solid, and I was excited about that. I thought that was going to do it, and while everything was apart, I checked it, and it still wasn't engaging overdrive. So I got down and I pulled the, um, the uh, solenoid, the solenoid that drives the overdrive, the switch-driven uh, solenoid. I pulled that off, which was incredibly difficult, and uh, I was able to um, kind of take that apart and see how everything, everything looked really good on that. I had uh, resistance, everything looked, looked fine, um, but it, I didn't know if it was good or not. Um, so 
I then went to the relay switch, which this lever connects to, and then uh, I was able to, basically I, what I started to do is just take that apart, and I found that there was a piece of copper wire that, in that surge, in that short, down on top of the transmission last year on the interstate, it had burned the wire, uh, it's just a tiny little section of braided copper wire had been burned, and so when I hit the relay switch, uh, this, the relay actuated, but nothing was happening. The, it wasn't, there wasn't power being sent to the transmission, to the overdrive. And so, uh, fortunately, I was able to use an ohmmeter and figure that out. But I took the relay apart and I found that, that where that braided copper wire had been burned. And uh, I took a soldering, an old soldering gun and some solder, and I was able to line everything up and balance it perfectly and drop some solder down once I was in, connected that braided wire, that braided copper wire. And then uh, I was able to make that connection solid. So I put everything back together, got the relay back together, took it out, and actually I just put it in fourth gear and actuated the switch and I could hear the solenoid engaging overdrive, um, which was just immensely pleasing sound to me because, you know, it had been almost a year and this is drivable, this is totally drivable with four speeds, but for long distance, for, uh, you know, higher speed travel, it's really important to have that, uh, that overdrive. Anyway, I was, uh, I was incredibly excited and I was able to um, take it out for a test drive, got everything back together, and uh, it works perfectly. So, I, I guess the reason I'm telling you all this is um, I didn't really know what I was doing. You know, I didn't, I didn't know how to fix this. And uh, I just knew that, you know, if I traced, if I was able to trace the electrical gremlins of where is their power, where is their not power, what's happening, uh, I was just able to figure it out. It's a simple puzzle. This is a 1967 Volvo and it's analog and the electronics are simple. It's great. It's a really simple machine for the most part. Uh, anyway, it was a massive success and very, though small, I, I was, you know, I was really excited about it. So I thought I'd share that with you. That's uh, one of the things that's been keeping me busy this week. So thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time on uh, on the channel and probably another House from Trees video coming right up, I would think. All right.